is, hey, I got news for you. They're acting as a pretty good historian in this deal because they're digging. There's many museum quality pieces, one of a kind type items that cover about a hundred years of outlaws, gangsters, and lawmen. And it includes Al Capone, John Dillinger, Lucky Luciano. We have Lucky Luciano's humidor that sold at Butterfield's. An incredible authentic piece that belonged to Luciano and it still has Cuban cigars in it. It's got poker chips and it, it, it's so iconic and, and a fantastic piece that relates right to Lucky Luciano. We've got a fantastic letter that John Dillinger wrote when he was in prison in Indiana asking for a transfer, the warden to transfer him from one department to the other. Dillinger's extremely rare in letters and to have one, fantastic. One of the particular pieces which is really outstanding is this archive of Al Capone. The Al Capone deposition is a massive archive that comes right from the police investigation into the shooting of his mentor, Johnny Torrio. And they've interviewed all the witnesses, so we have all the witness statements. And there's an affidavit, four-page affidavit, which Capone, you, can, you really get the feeling of how Capone was thinking at the time. And it says, this statement is true, and if you were called to testify, this would be your statement. And will you be willing to sign this statement? Yes, sir. Do you know Mike Merlo? Yes, I did know him. He's dead. What kind of place was it? An Italian restaurant, no cabaret. Do you sell soda pop, beer, or booze? Soda, but no beer or booze. Alphonse Capone. Also in the Capone section is an incredible song that he wrote. While he was in prison for tax evasion, he became a songwriter, and we have one of his songs, again, signed Alphonse Capone. One of the great mob figures was Meyer Lansky. And when you think of mobsters and the way they dressed, we've got an incredible hat that belonged to Meyer Lansky that originated with his family, with a letter of authenticity from his daughter, an incredible fedora. Bugsy Siegel, the man who's credited with modern Las Vegas, at one point was president of the company that would build the Flamingo Hotel. And here we have a stock certificate that they actually sold to each other to give stock into building a Las Vegas. Incredibly important and rare item. If you're a Wild West collector, this is the auction to pay attention to. Pieces that we have don't come up for auction often. There's Wyatt Earp's earliest signed document. There's Bat Masterson signing as sheriff of Dodge City. We have three guns from the Dalton gang, Coffeeville Raid. One magnificent one that's that was in the, the Dalton Museum since the 50s. Incredible items. This gun, I think, is fantastic. This was John Coffee Hayes's pistol, engraved. Uh, very famous gun. So it was part of the Gaines de Graffenried collection. This gun was housed in the Texas Ranger Museum. We have this incredible newspaper that says Jesse James assassinated, documenting the moment that Bob Ford, the treacherous Bob Ford, gunned him down. The items are so rare, appear on the market so infrequently, they're so unique, they were hand-picked, and they're the real thing. When you put on an event like this, and uh, it, it gets so much uh, worldwide attention about the crime factor, well, we're also featuring lawmen. And one of the things that we're doing is we're going to donate some of the proceeds from the auction to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund in Washington, D.C. We're very proud to uh, be able to give something to commemorate the lives lost in the pursuit of these major crime figures. And just to step it up one more level, we're gonna do a live event. I think that it's going to propel us to an even higher level within our industry. The live auction gives us a great opportunity to build excitement into the room and we sell each lot one by one. But also you don't have to be there. You can request a phone call and we'll call you when your lots that you wanna bid on are available. Or you can uh, go right to our website and bid online and watch it live stream and video and place your bids live. And it's just giving another way to create remarkable results. You've got good pieces, good items. Just hang on. It's gonna be a real ride.